Hello guys, Bingo Cat here, and today we continue my operating system series with Windows NT 4.0. Yay! So, for those of you who aren't aware, Windows NT 4.0 was released in 1996, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on here. And it's based off of something called New Technology, or NT for short. New NT is basically just when Microsoft tried to reinvent their operating system they get off of DOS which had severe limitations like you could only use a certain amount of storage space, RAM, etc etc and so this is Windows 1 version of Windows NT that was released. Now in Windows XP that's when Microsoft started releasing NT versions for the consumer line as well as the business line, but before that, it was just Windows NT was just released for the business line. And so here's Windows NT 4.0 with Microsoft Internet Explorer, released in '96. I'm gonna log in there. As you can see, it's running once again in VMware, so it's running extremely fast. Um, let me turn up the volume so you guys can hear the epic startup sound. And you'll notice that the w Windows NT shutdown sound sounds really similar to the startup sound at the end of this video. Let's see, let's go ahead and change. It should I already... Oh, excuse me. What the heck? I guess I'm just going to have to actually resize the window manually. Because I do not know what I just did. Uh, yes? Okay. There we go. Oh, never mind, it worked. So this is a desktop of Windows NT 4.0. You notice it is exactly the same as Windows 95. Now the reason it's exactly the same was that, well, Microsoft, after the release of Windows 95 and saw how successful their new user interface was, decided to import it into Windows NT as well. So we go to start. Once again, looks the exact same as 95. However, under start, you notice that this unlike Windows 95, is customized for businesses. It still has literally everything that Windows 95 had, but since it's not based on DOS, it won't run DOS programs. It does have the MS-DOS command prompt, but that is just a place you can use MS-DOS commands. It does nothing else besides that. Um, what else do we have here that's noticeable for this operating system? Once again, calculator, still really similar to modern versions of Windows. Ignore that, that was my phone. Uh, anything, let's see what version of Windows Media Player Windows NT comes with. It can be upgraded to version 6. The current version is 12. I accidentally misspoke in my last video and said it was 11, but it's 12. Notepad, once again, really similar to Windows 10. Now, Internet Explorer. This is supported until, I think, IE5. Oh, no, it's supported until IE6. IE6 was released in 2001 and is not supported anymore. This is unlike Windows 95. Let's see. And then, this is exclusive to Windows NT. This, it comes with all these nice little programs, like Disk Administrator is basically today's disk. This is basically the disk management program of yesteryear. Let's close that. Also comes with User Manager, which, you guessed it, is pretty similar to the version of Users and Groups that are in Windows 10. It also comes with Performance Monitor, which is basically just a different version of Task Manager. However, you can customize it to fit your own liking. So here's Processor Time. As you can see, it's now measuring Processor Time. So let's close that. We also have um, Remote Access Admin. I don't know what this is actually. Oh, this is for remotely administering servers and, and other computers, I think. But I'm not going to be doing that, so let's close that. 
Um, and last but not least, there's also a backup tool. Then the Event Viewer, which is still present in Windows 10, but this is a really primitive version of Event Viewer. Let's close out. As you can see, it has event logs or stuff I don't understand. And then let's exit here. And last but not least, we've looked at basically everything. So yeah, let's go ahead. The search is the same as in Windows 95, aka, I mean, it works, but not that good. Um, Outlook's basically the same. It can't even comes with the same games. Let's have a look at Control Panel. It looks a little different than it did in 95, but basically, once again, more or less the same. And it operates in the same fashion as in Windows 95. Anything that's noteworthy, we do have a nice services list. And question is, yes, you can change it so it browses in a single window. And unlike Windows 95, it's like that by default. At least it is for me. Uh, what else do we have here? Well, that's basically. Let's go back to my computer. See program files. So that's basically what the operating system looks like and all the features that it has. Now I'm going to answer the question, is it usable in 2016? So for Windows XP, which I did a video of earlier, the answer was yes. However, Windows 95 and Windows 98, the answer was a big no. However, is Windows NT yes or no? Well, first of all, absolutely no modern programs run on any operating system below Windows XP. So, essentially, no. But what if you didn't want to run any programs, you may ask? What if you just want to run legacy programs? Then, yeah, go ahead, use Windows NT. However, but what if you want to run modern stuff, but just from the web browser? Well, once again, Windows NT supports up to IE6. However, IE6 is really primitive in comparison nowadays and really insecure. Oh, and look at this. Unlike in Windows 95, you can't even get to Google. Why would that be, you may ask? I don't know. So what if we went to... Um, let's just go to another website. Yahoo. Yes. Oh, it Google's Yahoo. Or Bing's Yahoo, I guess. Let's get rid of that warning. Well, Bing works. What is this? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, so the short answer is Internet Explorer isn't really usable in Windows 95 anymore. Or, excuse me, Windows NT anymore. However, once again, you can also download an old version of Opera. This is Opera. Hmm. Be nice if there was an about button, wouldn't there be? Oh, here we go. Version 10.63. Is there a copyright date on here? Yeah, 2010. So yeah, if you want the internet of six years ago, then yeah, Windows NT will work for you, but for most people, Windows NT won't work for you. So, the answer to, is it usable in 2016? The answer is no, unless you want to run legacy programs and only legacy programs. So yeah, that's basically the entire operating system. Now we're going to go ahead and shut down. And listen for this shutdown sound. Now, if you notice the shutdown sound sounded really similar to the startup sound, it's because it literally is the startup sound, but reversed. Like if you were to play the startup sound backwards, it sounds like the shutdown sound and vice versa. I just found that out the other day and I thought it was really cool. So yeah, as you can see now it's shutting down and like Windows 95, it gives you it's now safe to turn off your computer message. So. Let's go ahead and safely turn off my computer. And that was Windows NT in 2016. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope to see you guys next time.